and we're live <laughs> and welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video here in bright and sunny Cheshire and what a beautiful day it is it's absolutely cracking the flags so how are you all today how are, how are you all today are you good are you bad are you indifferent what do you know well I'm here at uh, Chrysler Soto's in Northwich my um, good mate Callie 125 how are you? <laughs> and uh, we've looked at uh, a couple of cars so far we've had a look at uh, well I'll show you what we've been looking at Amara how are you? Yeah, we've had a look at a BMW X5 um, an Audi Q7 and now we're on a Peugeot 207 1.4 diesel Kev tea time mate good lad get it hey up Janice George, how are you mate? <laughs> yeah, we're, um, we're on this uh, Peugeot 207 an intermittent cut out non-start logging can codes so let me let me just take you in and I'll show you the DTCs that it's uh... Alan, how are you mate? so the DTCs we're interested in are them there U1308 can message engine control unit faulty and U1108 communication with engine control not present so um, what's going on here let me just get rid of that that screen for you so what's going on here now I'm actually monitoring live data there I've had the vehicle has done it once for me yeah and only once uh, it cut out and didn't uh, but it restarted immediately. Stephen, good evening. 10.30 in Australia. Peter, how are you? <laughs> yeah, the weather's really good. So I'm actually getting prepped. I'm, I'm driving up to Newcastle later tonight for the first uh, Simply Diagnostics 101 training session. Um, we're doing troubleshooting and scope 101 on Thursday, Friday. But I want a day's preparation, so I'm going up early. I'm going to get prepped. So we're out, as you can see in the background, we're out in Thunderbird 1. Uh, no, hey up Corey, no, no rain, hey up Craig. <laughs> yeah, we're out in Thunderbird 1. So, like I said, I've had this car, it's cut out on me once. Hey up Carl, how are you? Paul, how are you? <laughs> um, so what we've got here, I'll just show you what we've got set up. So I've got the ECU exposed there, and I've got the relevant um, pins back broke. And I'm using... Hella HGS, so let's uh, let's get you get you to see that. So I'm actually using Hella HGS. Sorry for the glare, I forgot my cardboard box. So I'm actually there. I've got everything that I want from the Hella wiring information, and I'm using the E-Scope, E-Scope Elite Four from Bernie Thompson. It doesn't really matter what's on the screen, but I'll just tell you. Channel A, got the yellow. I hope Randall. Alan, how are you, Nabil? I've got the yellows monitoring um, battery voltage, the blues on my 5 volt reference, red and green are on my can. Awesome, mate. And we're just doing a deep record. And I'm using, like I say, using these to delete for the I've got my little, uh, my little fuse ground breakout box, that makes me get, getting me good ground really, really easy. And all I'm doing now, I'm waiting for it to cut out. So currently, currently I've been sat here now, oh what, an hour, an hour with this car running, trying to wait for it to cut out. So what we've got here is a really, really good case of the intermittent, the absolute time vampires. The only reason I'm looking at this, an intermittent fault, is because it's going to good mate Cal. So, and uh, it's just nice and chilled and we're just having a little bit of a chill and seeing what's going on hey up Paul how are you mate thanks so before we start we've actually started a little bit of a sticker collection so you can see we've got some we've started a bit of a sticker thing going on here on me on me van doors now Bill yeah if you want to contact me mate by all means we've got um, Emails are in there, will be in the any of my video descriptions, mate. Send me an email and we'll chat to you about training, no problem. So we started a bit of a sticker collection going. Um, 
A what? And then we're, uh, well, we're going to get more stickers next year. We're actually planning a 20, 2021 tour of USA. I'm going to go, go, we're going to start off in Staten Island with my good mate Corey. We're going to have a week with him. Then uh, down to uh, down to Philadelphia, um, go and see Paul and a bit Paul Danner, a few other people down there. Then go and spend a bit of time with Keith, my good mate Keith from New Level Auto. And then after that, we're going to go, like I said, west to east and we're going to zigzag all up and down west to east north south and we're going to have a video or we're going to have a, a day or two days with every youtuber on the way and we're also going to be doing subscriber diagnostics so if you want to see mr steve in a car with a load of with a load of diag kit struggling on american cars stay tuned for that <laughs> and we're hoping to get a hand tech scope so i can figure out this down dakota issue cam crank correlation just borrow any scope, any scope you can get, mate, on a demo. On a demo, get a, get a cam crank, and then have a look on the uh, get somebody to have a look on the Pico Waveform Library, IATN, Diag.net. Um, there's loads of places you'll get a cam crank from there, mate. So yeah, so we've got a US tour, but before that, we've got a UK tour. We're off to Newcastle tonight training in Newcastle at Ashington at the JMO Lubricants Academy and then after that we're off up to Scotland we're going up to Scotland to my good mate Kev Martin we're going up to Spanorama do a couple of days training for Kev up there and some filming with the one and only Sandy Anderson so Sandy's going to be uh, going to be my cameraman for a couple of days <laughs> now Bill come to Smart Portsmouth no problem mate 450 a day plus 44 pence a mile plus accommodation I'm on my way <laughs> oh dear so yeah so yeah I'm just literally I'm just wiling me wiling wiling me time away here now waiting for this to break down so this is why we don't do intermittent faults <laughs> oh no Paul's got a lot going on, that's all, mate. He's, uh, he's a good, good, good friend of mine, Paul is. Paul Dannett is the reason I'm here. <laughs> if I hadn't been for Paul, I would have never turned the camera on. Emery, cheers, mate. You're awesome, too. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, don't forget, then Keith. Keith took me under his wing, brought me onto the Staten Island Express. And uh, that really whet me appetite, that did. Yeah, Wes, it's going to be a top road trip, mate. Can't wait. Really, really can't wait. So we're all already talking to people. So while I'm here now, I've got um, all my stuff. Well, I'm, I'm charging stuff. I've got me, uh, I've got my Bosch laptop charging up. I've got my Autologic up there charging up. I've already charged me, uh, me Veris, me Artipad, and all that. It's going to. Be... Hey, up, Jeff. How are you, mate? Um, so I'm actually over there. I've got me, got me invert, me inverters running. I'm charging everything up while I'm while I'm working. So uh, it's not really time wasted. So yeah. So like I say, that's all we're doing. We've just got, we've got uh, power supply, two grounds, and a five volt reference. I'm just monitoring. I'm just running it on a deep record. See if we can get, see if we can see what happens when it cuts out. See if we can, we can prove it's a no com. So on this system, it's it's uh, the the cam network. It's actually a bit of a funny little beast. It runs through the cam communication to the engine module. Actually runs through the ABS. It like piggybacks through the ABS. So I want to see when it stops. Does the actual engine ECU stop transmitting? Does the cam get pulled down, or is it? Is it the ABS module that's failing? So once it cuts out, we'll be able to get a little bit more more direction. Malcolm, you're right there, mate. It will. Yeah, it's absolutely as eggs is eggs. It's absolutely guaranteed to cut out the minute I stop filming. <laughs> it really is. So yeah, yeah. So we should get to a couple of live videos and that um, up at the Jail and Lubricants Academy. For the, in the 101 training and then uh, we'll have plenty plenty of video 
from uh, hey up Chris how are you mate <laughs> hope you're well not seen you for ages yeah we'll have plenty of live video uh, next week from Scotland and some editing stuff Sandy's going to do do some filming and do some editing for me it's going to be absolutely brilliant and uh, what else Eddie how are you mate hot as hell uh, Hotel Maxi Scope I've never used it mate but my thoughts on scopes to this if it's a scope and you use it it's absolutely brilliant anything that will put a wiggly line on the screen and give you some direction some idea of what's going on it, it's it's money well spent mate uh, whatever you can whatever you can get get it on get some wiggly lines done so yeah so it doesn't look like this is going to cut out if it does and we get it in a broken state then I'll go back live and uh, and we'll do some diag. But at the moment, <laughs> cheers, Alan. Yeah, but at the moment it's not doing anything at all. I'm hungry. I've not eaten today. I've had three coffees. I'm going to get another coffee. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, Malcolm, um, the software does the software does, but it's 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 what you've got and what you use, mate. Um, it's a, you know it's as simple as that. You know, it, it's what you've got and what you use. If that what if that's what you've got, that's what you can afford. Get it used, mate. It's fine. Pico is the industry standard, um, and on an equal par with that is that Escope Elite Four, purpose built for automotive. Absolutely brilliant scope. Then we got the Type I, which is another amazing scope. So it's all down to personal preference. But anything is going to be. Anything's going to be lacking compared to Pico and these team, you know, these top tier scopes. Anything at all. So, don't worry about it. Use what you've got and then uh, save up and get something better if you need it. Oh, yeah. So, right, I'm off. I'm, I'm waffling now. So, hope you have an, all have an awesome day. And if this breaks, I'll catch you all later. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section below when it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.